Mr. President, Prime Ministers, Chairman of and Presidents of Sister Parties, Mr. Blaga, first of all, I would like to thank you for this excellent organization and present to you Albania's case in its effort to progress toward the European Union, which is a top priority of my country. Not a country in Europe have had the special situation like mine 20 years ago Albania ranked the third poorest country in the world. 20 years ago, per capita income in my country were 204 US dollars per, per year, unemployment almost 80%. My party, which own elections, have had a good luck, a great privilege to have enormous support by EPP and center-right parties. This platform brought Albania to an entirely different situation. Albania have had a real quantum leap. Today, my country belongs to the upper, to the middle upper income country. That is, with 9,000 US dollars per capita. It's not still a developed country, but it succeeded to have some most basic indices of developed countries. One digit mortality infantile and maternal mortality rate, the lowest morta overall mortality rate in all former communist countries. Albania is having now the highest indices in the recruitment in higher and higher schools in the country. It was very low in dwellings per thousand Capita. Now it leaves behind five OECD or EU member nations. The country which was the most collectivized one has now around, 40, around 84 percent of GDP is coming from private sector. Mr. President, we honor the principles that we believe. We have one of the 10 smallest administration in the world. We have a very low tax system. I believe in low taxes, and so we put a 10% flat tax. We removed VAT for education. We removed VAT for machineries and materials used to build hydropowers and different plants. My country has become a real attractive country for direct foreign investment. In three years, they increased by 316%. Still, my country faced difficulties. Although it kept a growth, an average growth, four times higher than the region. But a bumpy road is ahead. And I agree with you. This motto of more Europe is vital for our countries. More Europe in two senses. First, we are facing huge difficulties as regard to Euro problems, Euro crisis. We are not a Eurozone country. 
but our banking system is entirely from Eurozone countries. That's why I will highly appreciate a greater interest to tamponate the consequences of Euro crisis in our countries. Second, as Mr. President raised yesterday evening dusty, the Western Balkan needs more Europe, much more Europe, because as a matter of fact, during the last two, three years, because of some specific question to be solved, the process is in real difficulties. But if we look back at the very beginning of European Union, we are a wounded region. The only way to heal our wounds is to make true our European dream. Otherwise, the vacuum will be replaced by nationalisms, which are really very counterproductive. Some key blockings there are to be solved. European Union has its own potential, and I, I hope that it is in best interest to keep an eye through our region. Mr. President, in all our achievements, we have been blessed to have your personal great support, the EPP Vice Chair's support and friendly country support, Council of Europe and EPP People of Council of Europe support. I remain very grateful to all of you. Albania is chairing this six months the Council of Ministers of Council of Europe. We have chosen as motto of our chairmanship united in diversity. United in diversity because we are in this respect a model of nation united in diversity. We are three religious nations with an excellent religious respect and tolerance since centuries, as well as during the World War II or since 33 of last century and on, never a Jewish was cleansed or handed over in our territory. The number of Jewish people increased during the war by 10 times. So, using this heritage, we thought we could be helpful in uh, promoting a dialogue on the, an interreligious and interethnic dialogue. I salute representatives of Arab Spring countries here. Their bravery is a real, has got a, a, an extraordinary admiration. I regret the stand, actual stand of the free world toward Syrian people, Syrian nation, which is facing a real slaughter and not being helped like Libyans, like other nations which were helped and saved from their dictator, dictators. But one thing I have to stress to these friends, if you look at my country, never values were put in question because of religions. The opposite, religions nourish the values with one fundamental condition, the state must remain like. The secret of our, of our extraordinary tolerance 
and respect for each other is the very fact that we, whatever the regime we faced in Albania, we were a like state, and I hope this will be helpful. Mr. President, next year is going to be a year in election in Albania. And definitely, I see, I smell in the air that the voters are really happy with the achievement of and what DP had delivered. I invite you to come again in my country and open the election campaign, which will be one of the most beautiful one and definitely will, will be a peaceful a campaign convincing Albanians for the new EPP program enshrined entirely in Democratic Party program. Thank you very much.